It's Thursday, the 21st of October, and this is Love Notes, daily devotions from Holy Trinity Lutheran Church. Welcome. Remembering is a big part of the human condition. We carry memories around with us for our whole lives. We gather them up like we gather pictures in a box. Remembering the past can be both a blessing and a curse. Remembering can become nostalgia, where we create a, a false past that's always better than today, one that we wish we could go back to. It's the perpetual high school reunion that takes us back to when we were homecoming king. I never was. It's the memory of days gone by where life was simpler and sweeter, but we have to ignore all the suffering to get it there. We've never done it that way before becomes the cry of a nostalgic past because change comes. Today we live in a pandemic and we long for just 19 or 20 months ago before we ever heard of COVID-19. The trouble with that kind of remembering is that it creates a sort of fundamentalism in us. If we can just recover the way things used to be, then life will be better. That's not the kind of remembering that plays out positively in our lives. Remembering is also important for people of faith, but it takes on a different dynamic. Today in Psalm 126, the first part of the psalm is about remembering. The psalmist says, When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, we were like those who dream. Thinking back to a day gone by when God had rescued the people of Israel and had restored the city of Jerusalem. When mouths were filled with laughter, it says, and tongues shouted for joy. And it was said among the nations, all who could see, that the Lord has done great things for them. That's the memory of the past. Now, one way to take that memory would be to look around and see if things have changed, which they have in this psalm. The walls of Jerusalem have been broken down and there is little to be celebrating. One way to look back would be to say, if only we could go back, but there isn't any way to do it. Instead, the psalmist takes a turn in the middle, using the memories of a restored Jerusalem in days gone by, the memory fuels a future hope and a promise of God. The psalmist says, Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like the water courses in the Negev, the wilderness. May those who sow in tears now reap with shouts of joy. May those who go out weeping bearing the seed for sowing, may they come home with shouts of joy, carrying their sheaves, the harvest pulled in. You see here, remembering is to remember God's actions and to use those to fuel a hope that looks forward to what is to come. We enact this whenever we do a funeral service for a loved one, a saint who's departed. Their departure will leave a big hole in the lives of loved ones. And there will be lots of remembering of that person, remembering their face, their funny stories, remembering the way they lived their lives and touched others. But the deeper remembering is to remember the death and resurrection of Jesus, which is something that all the baptized possess. By remembering that Jesus was raised from the dead and thinking about our loved ones, we can look forward in that memory and hope. We can look forward to the day when our mourning will be turned into dancing, where our tears will be wiped away, because God has done this before. Knowing that God has done this before, brought life out of death, healed us when we were sick, allows us to hope for a future when God will do the same thing again. 
Remember. Remember so that you can hope. Remember God's works so that you can look for them again. Let us pray. Our Lord God, you delivered the people from Egypt. You rescued Noah from the flood. You helped your kings and your judges. You brought us Jesus Christ, your word made flesh dwelling among us. And when he died on the cross at the hands of the darkness of this world, you raised him up to new light. Help us to remember these things so that we may shape the future we hope for. We can never go back, Lord. We can only go forward. And we can only go forward remembering that you have brought us together and forward before. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Mm -hmm.